History at Home, bringing the museum to you. Today I would like to introduce you to an early Niagara Falls daredevil, Charles Blondin. Blondin was a tightrope walker from France and was one of the first to walk from one side of the Niagara River Gorge to the other. Training as an acrobat from a very young age, he was performing for crowds at the age of six. Having found his calling young, Blondin perfected his craft in his teenage years and throughout his 20s. We know that when he came to North America, it was with a French acrobatic troupe and it was 1855. He was just 31 years old. Four years after that, Blondin would make his first crossing of the Niagara Gorge. It was in June of 1859. He'd arrived earlier that year to begin the planning and the preparation for the great stunt. We know that the wire he crossed on was about three inches in diameter and the portion of the Niagara Gorge that he stretched the wire across was 1,100 feet from side to side. And we also know that the wire was suspended 160 feet above the water line. Visitors were charged to stand along the edge of the gorge and to watch the performances from the nearby bridge. What Blondin quickly realized in these early days of tourism was that in order to keep the crowds coming back, he would need to continuously perform more and more difficult and theatrical variations of his gorge crossing. So we know that he did it backwards, he did it blindfolded, in a sack, pushing a wheelbarrow, he did it on sticks or stilts, he did it piggybacking his manager, John Colcord, and we know that he even cooked an omelette while he was out on the middle of the wire. Blondin went on to perform his daredevil acts for many years after his time in Niagara Falls, and he inspired a long tradition of tightrope walking around the world. Thanks for spending a few minutes to let us bring the museum to you.